robots in the University of Washington in Singapore. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Singapore's robots operational. It wasn't a wasn't a confidence building last 10 seconds of prep time there, but without any technical timeouts to spend. Three, two, one, match start. There we go. They look fine to me. Standard strap from both teams. The University of Washington sending their sentry out early. It's already starting to launch projectiles at the reload, taking a little bit of damage and doing a little, no, not taking, but doing a little bit of damage to S Singapore. A standard from the University of Washington able to do quite a bit of damage here onto the hero from, uh, from Singapore. Singapore firing back. They've had really good accuracy, but they're unable to connect on either of those UW robots. Both teams playing relatively conservative, trying to make sure not to give away Ooh, that first Singapore blood. Singapore both down to a one-third HP. First blood. UW getting the first blood. That's Singapore is standard three. That's going to make this a tough round for the University of Double Singapore, kill. going through a blood bag there, and still not enough to keep their hero alive. The U Singapore versus UW. The sentry for Singapore is still not firing. Triple so unfortunate. Kill. We saw it do so well earlier. It's now tracking targets, but not pulling the trigger. University of Washington with a triple kill. We'll see if they can turn it into anything else before the <laughs> standard has to retreat. Oh, no. Both sentries here having a bit of a malfunction. The sentry for the University of Washington was driving into the wall and firing into the wall for a minute. Uh, not going to do too much uh, against them, though. Doesn't take any damage. Standard for University of Washington, now level three is going to be quite a big threat for Singapore to be able to deal with. Both robots down on the side of Singapore, thanks to that University of Washington standard. Yep, once there's a two level advantage on the field, it's really, really hard for either team to have a chance to come back. I don't think we've seen many teams, if any, come back from such a deficit. Ooh, module offline air is not what you want to see as Singapore. Projectile overspeed as well. The referee system doing a lot of work. The University of Washington doing a bit more on that sentry, though. Still actually got a module offline off of standard three oh as well. Oh, my word. Okay, half of the game left to go. Uh, if module stays offline for University of Washington, that will feed XP back to the Singapore. University of Washington's hero still alive. Doing lots of damage to the... Singapore base as it actually takes the base entirely out. Those modules its not going to matter. We might have to check. Was that faster than the VT game? That was quick. Very well could have been faster. All the projectiles in one single go without having to return to the base to purchase projectiles or load more in. And we're going to see what the outcome of this match is. The second round of best of five. Three, two, one. Game start. Round two. University of Washington versus the University of Singapore. Both teams getting their resupply zones about the same time. Singapore opting for a slightly different strategy of buying hero projectiles at the beginning of the round, as opposed to UW, who puts all of their hope into that one standard three. Yeah, notably leaving a little bit of extra gold, though, is UW. You can buy 200 standard projectiles. Uh, or 105, UW going for an odd 150. I think the lowest amount of projectiles you can purchase for Hero, though, is 5, meaning you at least need 50 gold, which is what they have. A Hero shot coming across from NUS, getting a little bit of damage, not the full 100, but getting 20 damage onto the Sentry of the University of Washington, giving them an early lead a minute into the game. Seen that early lead be able to carry a lot of these teams that are just differing in strategy as opposed to technology skill or technological advantage. University of Singapore, their sentry now firing. That's what we were looking to see as it's able to force off the standard from the University of Washington and defend itself, remaining at full 600 health. University of Washington having to use some blood bags early, but they were able to secure more. So not going to be too much of a cost of resources for them. First blood. First blood for University of Washington is going to put their standard in the healthy lead with a level two standard advantage. And now they're able to take the Sentry HP advantage as well as they continue pushing forward. University Double of Washington kill. switching this back. 
Cedric for University of Washington taking out the hero. Singapore. Singapore's sentry also not to be unnoticed. Shooting the hero a reasonable for amount University of the Washington now chewing through the shield of Singapore and going straight to the base. They do not have enough projectiles to finish it off, but they'll chew through the first 300 or so HP of Singapore's base damage. That's enough to put them in a pretty healthy lead considering their sentry is still alive and patrolling in the middle bus point. Engaging the hero for another substantial amount of damage. Singapore getting in some sneaky shots with their standard on that sentry. Looking to tie this game up as it's very doable within 2 minutes and 40 seconds left in the match. Yeah, it's definitely not over for Singapore in round 2. Um, they're holding pretty well against the University of Washington halfway through the game, but now the University of Washington not going to let them get much further in the match with 380 health left on their base. Well, their hero is out of ammo, so they're going to have to go back. But the sentry might be able to finish this one off as it's not actually able to. Bolt robots for University of Washington running out of ammo as the ace comes across from the sentry, I believe, getting the kill on both the standard and the hero for the Singapore. Kind of a classic UW problem that we've seen, but no team able to capitalize on it. Um, running out of projectiles and gold before they're able to kill the robot. I mean, the base. Aced. Another robots sentry kill coming again. across for UW. Very nice, very nice. UW able to iron out whatever problems they were having with their sentry beforehand as now UW's hero and standard are able to take that base down for a UW victory in round two. All right, Jack. UW as they prepare for round three of the final match, RMNA 2023. Most of UW on their feet in three, two, one. The start of what could be the final round of RMA 2023. University of Washington versus the National University of Singapore. The Sentry still looking good from the University of Washington taking shots at their resupply zone. That added pressure, Matt, just no rest for the opponent of UW. Pressure only lightly applied as it does not look like much damage is taken by Singapore. Yeah, more of a scare tactic against those teams than like actual damage, but I can't imagine the stress of being a driver and not being able to reload without uh, seeing projectiles fly by you or hit your armor panels. You have been a driver before, so you would yeah. know a thing or two about the, it was nice the to be able nerves of being a, base. a driver's seat. <laughs> Looks like Blue 3 is working, chat. Maybe a, a mini rip, but not a full rip. Looking fine. Taking some shots at the sentry. Landing a couple hits. Still lagging just behind the damage that uh, Singapore is able to do to the sentry of University of Washington. Singapore sentry is shooting, able to fend off the standard from University of Washington. Really appreciated these last couple matches. Four games now, four different teams, six robots per match. Everyone's sentries firing. how impactful both teams can use that first blood level advantage to be able to impact the rest of the match. With three minutes, 30 seconds left, no robot has died on either side yet. Yeah, both teams understanding how important that first blood is going to be. Sentries both erupting, targeting the opponent's standards. Singapore in the lead right now, actually, by 12 damage. Ooh, the standard from University of Washington falling extremely low to the century of Singapore. Let's see if Singapore can finish it off. First and there it is, Singapore taking the first blood against the University of Washington standard versus standard combat. The century for Singapore really got making the difference maker there. University of Washington is going to need to go and refill on health and be able to shoot projectiles again by going back to the resupply zone. Yeah, but Make again, it. taking small amounts of chip damage, just going to the resupply zone and back, it's made them chew through all of their blood bags. Well, while also, JW doing a very good job noticing that sentry is a little bit out of position as he's now got it down to 508 health, which is Yeah, but the standard the for the University of Washington coming over. It's going to get some chip damage onto the sentry of Singapore before being engaged by the standard of Singapore.
Number three from Singapore has got to be careful, but can't go back to kill as they're out of blood bags. Two minutes left in the match. Anybody's game. Singapore now in a pretty big lead that could change pretty quick, depending on the strategy that University of Washington deploys. It's only going to be two hero shots that would put University of Washington in the lead if they're able to hit that sentry, but it does not look like their hero is able to be doing too much this game. And while it looks like Singapore has a substantial lead here, notice that University of Washington has four blood bags, which means for the rest of the match, they're going to be able to have higher health on their robots. And they're going to need it as Singapore takes out standard three. Moves on to start attacking the hero. Still level one hero. Not going to be too much of a threat compared to the level three standard. Ooh, but it does take out that standard from Singapore. The Sentry from Singapore down to 424 health, getting really, really close here. University of Washington having an interesting uh, tactic of pushing the standard from Singapore closer to the base. Don't know if that was on purpose I think or that's an the Sentry, and I think it was actually killed for that um, as it died due quote-unquote collision. Standard from Singapore as projectiles fly into the field. University of Washington now in the lead with a minute left. Sentry from UW getting a kill as they move on to the base. The hero from the University of Washington chewing through and every shot bringing Washington closer to their third RMNA victory. University of Washington only needs to win this last oh round. Oh my gosh, Matt. Four robots in the base zone of University of Singapore. You are allowed to push dead robots, I was pretty sure, without incurring penalty but now it appears that blue standard three has been ejected from the match 27 seconds left it might not matter uh singapore was never able in this game to get through that 1500 hp shield or take down the very functional century of the university of washington i think singapore would have needed to focus on just that base knocking down the overshield is 12 seconds tick down that century does not matter as actually it's going to be a base destruction concluding rmna 2023 University of Washington taking it for the third year in a row. Congratulations. University of Washington, your 2023 RMNA champions by way of base destruction. University of Singapore putting up a great fight, coming in a first year RMNA team, taking second place, absolutely incredible. What matches we were pleased to be just graced with today. VT, Texas.